What's up guys, welcome back to Cars Cost and Technology. On today's video, we're gonna be discussing the pricing of the C8 mid-engine Corvette. There's been a lot of rumors and speculation about this car and the fact that it may end up being an extremely expensive supercar that's way out of the price range of your average Corvette owner. But I wanna show you guys some recent information that surfaced online that I think points in another direction and could validate that this car will actually be much more affordable than we originally expected. Now, if you guys enjoy this video and you wanna see more C8 mid-engine Corvette content like this, please remember to hit the like button on this video as it helps the channel grow and I would certainly appreciate it. But let's go ahead and dive into today's topic and the first thing that I want to share with you is actually some spy shots or leaked images of the prototype C8 Minigen Corvettes that have been driving around. When you look closely you can see that a lot of them seem to be equipped with relatively small solid steel brake rotors. Now the reason that's significant is if you look at the current Corvette lineup the only model that comes with rotors like this is actually the very base model C7 Corvette Stingray without the Z51 package. As soon as you get the Z51 package or move up to say the Grand Sport Z06 or never mind the ZR1 you're going to get much better brake rotors and the C7ZR1, which has a price tag that would be more similar to what we're hearing the C8 may start around, actually comes standard with large carbon ceramic rotors. So you have to wonder that if these prototype C8s are, you know, out testing and this car is meant to start around $100,000 or more, why they wouldn't be using the what should be standard carbon ceramic rotors that the car will come with once it goes into production. I think the most logical explanation here is the fact that this is actually the base model C8 Corvette that we're seeing out in testing, and there will be a C8Z06 or C8ZR1 one that will come with more upgraded equipment that will be the six-figure supercar that we're hearing so much about but this one is actually going to be much more affordable and more attainable for the average person so that's the first piece of information that I found to be really interesting as it pertains to the potential pricing of the C8 Corvette. The next thing that I want to talk about is actually something that I discussed in one of my previous videos, and that was a leaked market analysis document that included a forecast for North American engines being built, and it included the C7 Corvette as well as what we believe to be the C8 mid-engine Corvette in this document and had a bunch of different information on the engines that were slated to be produced for these two models. What I found to be really interesting is the fact that the LT1 engine, which is the current engine found in the uh, C7 Corvette Sting, as well as the Corvette Grand Sport was actually slated to go into production for the model code that we believe to be the mid-engine Corvette. So if this is true and the mid-engine Corvette does share the LT1 engine with the Stingray and the Grand Sport for the first couple of years that they may be on sale together like we've heard so many rumors suggesting, obviously that would bring the price point way down on this particular variant that uses the LT1 considering all the R&D is done on that engine and it's been out for a while as well as the fact that it'd be hard to put a mid-engine Corvette on the lot next to a Stingray that's using the exact same engine. Uh, engine or very similar engine and charge roughly double the price for the car. It, I just don't see that happening. So I think it's much more realistic that this car will be much closer to the price point of the Stingray and the Grand Sport that we're seeing now, especially if it's using the same engine. Now this has actually been further validated by a leaked CAD image that appears to show an LT1 engine in a mid-engine application. So a lot of information here that's pointing towards, you know, again, with this car having smaller steel brake rotors, possibly using an LT1 in one of its variants, that there could actually be a base model coming first or coming soon that will be much less expensive than what we're hearing. Now, again, I do firmly believe that there will be higher in variants, you know, again, a C8 Z06, C8 ZR1, which I do believe will be very expensive, but offer incredible performance as well. I don't know if that will be relatively soon or if that will be farther down the road. It's tough to say at this point in time, but I think for anyone who's thinking that the C8 is just a distant dream and that it's not a reality for your average Corvette owner. I do think that that's actually incorrect and that we are going to see a C8 mid-engine Corvette that's very attainable for your average owner. I'm thinking it's probably going to land somewhere in the uh, low 70s to the high 80s, depending on some more factors that we've, we've yet to actually pin down. But I want to get you guys' opinion on this and just kind of share this information because, again, there's so many leaks happening at this point. I'm seeing spy shots on a regular basis, a lot of clips of them driving around different towns and testing. So there's so much going on with the C8 Corvette right now. I felt like now would be a good time to kind of talk about it as well as one of the biggest concerns, which again is pricing, because if this car is unrealistically priced, it's not going to sell well. We're not going to see near the widespread popularity like the C7 has had. But anyway, guys, I want to hear some feedback from you. What do you think? Is there any information that I missed in this video that you found that would uh, support whether the pricing will be high or low on this car? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. And again, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Definitely helps the channel grow and share it with any friends who are concerned about the pricing on this car. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Have a great day.